I, I feel like um, I was happier when I was broke, but I don't want to go back broke. Does that make sense? Yeah, sure. sure. Yeah. I don't know if that makes sense. You don't know the the like the happiness of just getting on the train. Like I love taking the train. Like yeah. I don't know what it is. It just makes you feel normal. Right. Salam alaikum. Bored and buying stuff? Don't buy there. Look where your money goes. Buy hair. Zakara. Forward. As an umma. Assalamu alaikum guys. I know you missed this handsome face. Don't forget to say mashallah. Jean-Claude Van Damme I'm fine. Let's start the video yeah. Because 6 9 is about to give us some dawa. Ali what's the dawa come to? We both tend to hear this phrase, it's all written, yeah? And every now and then we may even use this phrase as well, which refers to destiny or qadr of Allah. The fact that Allah has predestined and preordained everything. But when things actually befall us, do we actually apply this? Oh no, man! <laughs> Probably not. But you know what guys, let's not wait for something bad to happen and then for us to misapply this and then project our anger towards the religion and say yo it don't make sense, what's going on and start blaming Allah and stop praying yeah. Let's realize that you know what, most often than not it is literally our understanding of an Islamic concept which is warped and not the religion itself. But anyway, let's let Mufti Hazrat 69 explain. Obviously the risk anywhere you go, anything you do right now is higher, especially on stage. Imagine living life like that. Imagine living life like, yeah. oh my God, like I have to continue to live my life. I just can't stop and say, yo, it's gonna happen. Like I just have to live, if whatever's happened, God has it written that it happens. You know what I'm saying? If whatever's happened, God has it written that it happens. You know what I'm saying? 6 9 was somebody that's done some funky stuff when he was in the rap scene because he naively admits himself that he thought that the rappers did what they sang about. Because I thought rap was real. Everything I was rapping about was really happening. Yeah. These rappers that rap about the shit that they rap about, they don't live. So because of that, he got many years in prison. Yeah, I think about 47 years and he probably would have grown old in prison. So he, what he decided to do was by any means necessary, leave prison, even if it meant grassing other people up. But of course in the streets, it's known as snitching and he snitched. And because of that, he pretty much has a death warrant on his name. Yeah, because he snitched loads of people and they have vowed that when they see this guy, so for this guy to say there is only so much you can do and what he means by that is I mean he can have security, he can go out carefully and like be cautious but there's only so much you can do that's in your control and then a stage comes where you just have to say you know what I leave it in the hands of God whatever's written is written. This is such a healthy way of living and this is exactly what we are supposed to do. There are sayings like do your best Allah will do the rest or tie your camel first and then leave it to Allah yeah. Control is something that we are very much used to especially in this day and age yeah of technology and everything we get to control deliveries, fast food, we get to do everything online in a matter of seconds but when it comes to certain things like death, death of a loved one we can't control it. When it comes to relationships and matters of the heart Again, it's a thing that we can't control. When it comes to being accepted in a certain job or our exam results, our career choices, these are things that we cannot control. And when it comes time to relinquishing control, like yo, how, how, how do I handle this? Because I'm just not used to loosening control. There's actually a prayer that summarizes this really well. Yeah, It says, Oh Allah, grant us contentment in things that we cannot control, the courage to change that which is in our control and the wisdom to be able to distinguish between the two. We rely on transparency, we can't control what we can't see. Sometimes we get it wrong, 
We fret on things that we cannot control. Fretting over exam results when you know you did not revise and then you don't get the results and then you start questioning everything. Or in a relationship, yeah? You try your best, you exhaust all the means. You do counseling, yeah? You go on holidays, you change your job, yeah? You change where you live, you change the family dynamic, but yet the relationship still doesn't work out. Then, then at that stage you can say it wasn't meant to be. I can say that because I exhausted all my means, I tried, now I can say Qadr. It's just not meant to be, it wasn't written for me. But some people, it is in your control, yeah? Like you don't try much in a relationship and then you're like, yeah, forget it, you go, I go, and then what if, what if, what if? But had you exhausted all your means, then there would be no what if, you know what I'm saying? What I can say is, may Allah grant 6-9 Hidayah and guidance and may Allah help us utilize this tool such that it can be a means of joy for us rather than a hindrance in our religion and our life. Let's leave it there guys until next time. If whatever happened God has it written that it happens. Assalamu alaikum. The time has come for the Ummah to have an online platform of our own. A platform like no other where we can all come together sell products, buy products, all within the Ummah, thus allowing the money to circulate only within us, helping us to strengthen and prosper as an Ummah. No longer will our money go away to an entity that has no aim or desire to support us, give back to us, but only to make profit and fund wars. Let us build back our empire as Muslims and give to each other so we can support one another and give back to our communities. Zakran.com is looking for sellers to join their platform, no monthly charges, little or no fees, hard working team, constant updates and improvements and new content regularly inshallah.